So yeah, so I'm sure you guys guessed it. We're gonna be using chug bug today. Just gonna cast a couple spots here. And I actually gotta go back to the car. I forgot my glasses, but the car is right there. So we'll make three or four casts here. Okay, we're back in the water. So, we're just gonna go through this tunnel to the other side. And that's where we'll start our fishing. And we made it. So, it's a lot of junk today. So, we're gonna start over here on this side. Make sure we're rolling. Yep, start recording. Okay. Oh, you missed it. There we go. Oh my god. You felt little once I actually start. Got me all tangled up here in the front. Wow. That was pretty cool. So no matter how how much you fish with top water, every hit is still so so exciting. Yeah. Oh here we go. Oh my god, that's the second one that's come off. So that's the second one that's hit it and it's come off. So, not sure how much of the hook he felt, but There you go. Wow. I'm done, dude. Oh. Awesome. Got a good too. Okay, so. There we go. That's the what the fourth hit, but the actual first fish. 
Calm down, dude. There you go. So I kind of want to talk about so I kind of want to talk about that that fish really quick um, so he came and he swung at it and he missed it so when you're using top water it's very easy to get excited and you see it blow up and you just want to set the hook but don't you know just keep with your retrieve until you actually feel the weight of the fish a lot of the times when they just swing on it the swirl they're awake it'll actually pull the lure down so don't don't try to set the hook until you actually feel the weight of the fish i, I know it's hard but after a while you kind of you kind of get used to just keep going with your retrieve until you actually feel feel that weight you know you're going to miss a lot more fish when you try to set the hook and just take that that lure out of that chasing mode that they're in so Oh, he blew up on it and he came back for it while it was underwater. Oh, that was pretty cool. I've never had that happen. That was a little foul hook. Yep, got him under the gills. Okay, so. because he can't okay dude I'm trying to save you okay so where do I got you okay I got you on the gear plate not too bad okay you're not hurt and you got a hook on there Oh, this one's a little bit nicer, maybe pound and a half -er. Um So basically, what we were just talking about, it happened again right there. Um, he swung at it, he kind of felt the, the hook, because I felt him kind of get hooked for a second. And then it came off right under the water. So I stopped my retrieve um, when I felt that, that I lost him. And he came back and hit it all on his own. Like I didn't even have to work the bait, but at least I didn't pull it out of... Out of that strike zone where he was chasing it so again don't don't set the hook until you actually feel that the weight of that fish oh I saw it there he goes again you don't stop working your lure you just keep going This one got a nice little largey. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Nice, almost two little pounder right here. Uh, he probably does like two pounds. He feels kind of heavy. Again, you don't stop your retrieve because you see him swing at it. He swung at it, he missed it the first time, and then he went ahead and got it that second time. Tiny little one. I don't think he made it to half a pound. I ended up loosening on my drag on that last fish, and then I spent most of the time 
readjusting it during the fight, which obviously didn't turn out too well for me, so. he goes wow and these hooks aren't bad they're pretty sticky but that's what the third or the fourth one that's kind of shook us off so i'm gonna tighten down the drag just a little bit so when they try to run their own force is gonna gonna drive the hook a little bit better i think it just wasn't tight enough wasn't able to penetrate the hook so I'm trying to tighten down a little bit and that should help. See if we get something up against this wall. we go we caught it up against the wall ah, it's tiny but he was where he was supposed to be right They've all been pretty dark, you know, I usually catch bright colorful ones and every now and then a dark one or two, but today they've all been dark. One of the ones that actually shook us free, I actually saw him and he was pretty, pretty brightly colored. Okay, so we've come to the dead end that I knew we were going to reach. Here's where I'm going to switch the battery. And then I'll go ahead and I'll switch. Oh, switching the battery in the GoPro. And I'll go ahead and I'll switch to, to the other chuck bug. The little bigger one. That three and a half, four inch one. With the green back. So, give me a second to switch batteries and I'll be right back. That was a nice one. Got him right there, the corner of the mouth. Come on, come on, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go on that green chuck bug, the little big, big one. on his head and I'm not very healthy. And I was just doubting too, thinking maybe maybe that four incher was just a little bit too big. But he came for it. There we go. And the little one.
Good pretty fish. So we've pretty much fished both lures the same amount of time. Um, fish the same water, I just fished the opposite bank. Um, the smaller chug bug caught about, or well, had about three times as many hits as the two and a half inch or so. For this next stretch, we're just gonna keep going with the two and a half inch. So, um, size playing more of a factor than actual color because the little minnows that they are feeding on is more of that green color but it looks like they prefer that, that smaller profile which is more in line to to the bait fish or the little bait that they're eating so we're going to stick to this to the smaller one and let's see if we can kind of get that action going again So I saw him chasing it, but he wasn't committing to it. So what I did is I just picked up the pace a little bit. Like if he's actually trying to, to flee from it. And that's where he hit it twice. starting to develop his little hump. Been about an hour and a half since the last fish so kind of went on a little bit of a drought but that guy kind of saved us. Oh there we go. I actually got stuck in a branch and when I jerked it out I guess it kind of got his attention. So coming back to life, that's second bite like in 10 minutes, but it's turning back on so hopefully we'll catch a few more. We're already making our way back to the car so.
There you go. Got him at the corner of the mouth. And there he goes. I was probably the prettiest one of the day. Maybe two pounder. Um, but yeah, I mean, two minutes after we caught that last one, we hooked into this one. So um, the biggest difference I'm seeing, I'm starting to work it a little bit faster right now. And I'm starting to see the bite. So again, we're already on the way back to the car. So I'm just going to keep working it as quick as I'm working it now and see if we can catch a few more. Oh, and I think at that point we're gonna call it a day. Um, the day wasn't horrible, you know, it did decent. Um, probably caught what seven, eight, nine fish. Had another three or four kind of come off, but you know that's just kind of part of it. Um, so definitely glad I started using chuck bug again. Um, it's been a while since I used one, but definitely the first time I used any in those sizes so you know thanks uh thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time